Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your fortnightly reading for November the 16th through to the 30th and we are moving from Scorpio season into Sagittarius season. Yay! Happy birthday to all you beautiful November Sagittariuses. How do you say that? Sagis. So yeah, I hope you have a very special time. You receive some beautiful blessings. You feel special. This is your time to shine, Saggy. It's really your time to expand and step into your element. So beautiful energy coming in. We're just platforming off, um, just transitioning out of a new moon in Scorpio. So we'll see what energies are coming through. The high priestess has just come through for you. And at, at the end of the month, November the 30th, we have the full moon in Gemini. So we'll see what interesting stuff is coming out for you. This is a general reading, Sagittarius. So just take what feels right for you and leave the rest because there's a lot st of stuff that will be coming out. If it does really resonate and you'd like to hear more, there will be an extended and the link is in the description box below. I'd love it if you come over to that because we always get some um, really heaps more information and we delve a lot deeper and oh and we get the death cards come out as you gosh massive transformation coming through for you you are transforming oh the star card is the outcome and the six of pentacles this is the birthday wishes that i was hoping for you i couldn't have asked for a nicer beautiful birthday blessing to come out. So that's lovely, Saji. Uh, I was going to say, if you enjoy this reading, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. So I'm going to start. Oh, hello. What's falling? Everything's falling over. I'm going to pull you, before we get that into the animal spirit energy, a little lucky charm, a little lucky charm for you, Saji. Let's see what your lucky charm is going to be. Oh, we have, what is that? It's like an anchor. It's one of those things that they put, it's like an old fashioned um, thing that they put on fences, like fencing, defenses. It's really beautiful. What I'm getting is uh, a symmetry. There's a perfect symmetry was the words that were coming in for you and something really um, strong and old and old fashioned. So these are kind of the themes. This is I. this could be related to actually a person in your life. So it could be like, you know, I'm kind of getting history. I'm getting like last century kind of stuff. So this could be related to grandparents. Um, yeah, I'm getting very much grandparents, grandfather in particular. So this is like a grandfather energy coming out for you, a sense of history, a reminder of things that have gone past. So, uh, but it, it is wanting to be a nice memory, a nice sense of history, a nice something nice is coming back to you that ha that is quite old. So if you don't have that kind of relationship with uh, that energy, it could be something else, something historical. I keep being shown England for some reason as well. So um, that's an interesting one. That is an interesting one. And if you know actually what that is called, because I don't know what that is called, Sagittarius, I'm just getting information off it though, um, please let me know. But something very old and decorative. But, yeah, a beautiful, I do feel like there's messages from, um, loved ones who have passed over actually from grandparent energy coming through for you so yeah beautiful beautiful messages of love so if you don't have a good relationship with them don't dis just totally discount this now we have as animal spirit energy coming through for this fortnight we have beautiful froggy and this is a lovely water energy coming through a beautiful energy of healing so we'll see what that brings when we get stuck into the reading so let's uh let's get some fairies for you let's pull out some cards some intuitive messages so who wants to speak to saggy today what messages do we have for sagittarius oh they've just come right out oh quite the story okay oh fairy godmother has come out yes 
Wow, you are truly the little blessed ones. But there are some other stuff happening at the moment, Sadie, so we will look at that because we have the bod- bodacious Bodak, and he is a sneaky little fella that's come out here, but he's right next to the singers of Courage and the Ra. So it's actually I feel like there's this deep sense of calling that's coming in here for you. But there will be, it's trying to rise above something, very much trying to rise above. Something will, it's the element mostly trying to rise up and rise above, but there is this little pesky energy that's going to try and sneakily pull you back down. And so um, this could be rising above anything that has um, been a challenge or anything that has held you back in your life. I do with the singer of Courage coming in, You've been called into um, being greater than that, and to and to overcome something at this moment in time in your life. So, uh, and I do feel like you're rising above your. Um, it, I do feel like this very strongly as like a soul purpose kind of calling. Something is calling you, so you might get a real sense of that because the uh, high priestess has come out here. So, and it's interesting as well that um, just getting now with this little fella, you know, we had history and family lines and ancestry that was coming out as a message of that. And I think so much that the past is coming back to remind you of the lineage and the legacy that you're creating in your future. So that's actually um, really, it seems to be this real theme that's happening for you at this moment, Sagittarius. We also have Fairy Godmother and the Oak Men and this is just this is just both this is blessings coming to you. The fairy god godmother turns up when just little things suddenly magically get fixed or sorted out in your life. You might receive um, interesting little gifts or synchronicities um, that can just things just and it's kind of like you don't know how that happened. It's like it was a little gift from the universe. So she just sprinkles her little magic around. And it's just really if you find yourself heading down the wrong path, she just gently steers you back and she'll, you know, uh, so it's it's really, really um, cool energy. I really love this very godmother energy. She's been around a bit. She kind of went away, but she's coming back for you guys. And she comes, it's unexpected. So it's kind of like this, it'll just kind of, you won't, it might be something you're not even thinking of. I had the strangest experience with her um, a couple of weeks ago when I went away and had this ran it. I went to see an artwork at an exhibition, a big exhibition down in Sydney that's quite a well known exhibition. And I ran into the artist that painted the picture. I only went one place in the whole place of Sydney. And I just happened to run into the artist of the one artwork I wanted to see. And a massive big city. It was just strange. And it was one of those real synchronistic magic moments. And I'm like, okay, this is like the fairy godmother at play. And weird little things like uh, money came to me and suddenly um, issues were sorted out. Suddenly I had to go ahead to do certain things. And it was just, you know, unexpected stuff, that things that you couldn't even necessarily even do. Um, even kind of think of so you wouldn't stuff like that with the oak men as well coming in this is um this is again it's an old and ancient energy there's an old energy around you again like a grandfather or an old soul energy around you that's coming in and again this fairy godmother could be like your grandparents from the other side that are um, sprinkling some, or ancestors. It's an ancestry thing that could be there's someone looking out for you in the spirit realm. So, and it's a very old, kind, um, wise energy. It's very beautiful energy coming through here. So, yeah, lovely for you, Sagittarius. Uh, I think you're going to feel really um, protected and looked after. And that is actually the energy that's around you. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice energy out of the blue. So here we have, speaking of synchronicities, here's Lady Luck herself and the Lady of Synchronicities and Intuition, the High Priestess, crossed by the Hermit. So this is uh, actually, 
quite a deep energy that's coming through here, a very deep intuitive energy that you will find deep within yourself. So when we're thinking about this old ancient energy, this could actually be a part of you as well, like an old soul energy or even something from the, a very old past. It could be past life as well if that's what you believe in. But, yeah, it's this beautiful, deep, deeply connected soul energy coming through here that is guiding you so to the point that you don't even question it. It's so strong and prevalent. So there's this very beautiful sense of finding the answers deep within in this intuitive, in your intuitive space. So, and with that comes a sense of knowing and a sense of confidence. And it's funny, interesting that you have the eight of wands, there's very clear and direct messages and communication coming to you. This can be news coming in as well. So I do feel like, you know, there's messages from the spirit realm, messages from the other side, also messages from deep within yourself. You're getting it clearly. It's like if you could um, install a satellite dish inside you and you can pick up the information and get the clear message. That's exactly what's happening to you at the moment. And so um, this is in your conscious mind as well. So with the Eight of Wands, this is all about, you know, very direct and clear communication. So this might be something that you're feeling the, that you're receiving or that you're giving as well. I do feel like this is coming in for you. So this might be something that you're wanting to hear, you're wanting clarity, uh, but I do feel like this is, with these cards here, this is very strong intuitive messages coming through for you, Sagittarius. However it however it presents, because the fairy godmother is, she can present in so many different ways. So it doesn't have to be, you know, like you're getting a, a message, intuitive message, and it's just this sense of knowing. It can be that. It can be you get like someone rings you and says something to you. You know, it can appear in many different formats. So, yeah, very direct and clear. At the base of the issue, we have the Eight of Cups. Now, this is interesting because we have the moon and the star. Uh, we have the star here, the hermit, and we do end on the star. So you're being very guided by um, that beautiful, deep, intuitive energy. There is a connection here because that is within you and here it comes shining brightly. So something very deep within you comes out and expresses itself. So it's actually really beautiful. But here we have the Eight of Cups as a deep down energy. And this can be, you know, um, this is at the base of the issue. This can be soul energy. This can be subconscious energy. This can be a very deep feeling. It's just something that's kind of right there um, embedded in the base of what's going on. And it's very much saying that you are, turning your back away from something. You're letting something go now. You're walking away from something, something that felt like something was missing. You felt like there was something missing and it's kind of you've gone probably a long way down that path uh, until you've just realised this is not meant for me, this is not fulfilling me, there's something not right here. It's time for me to walk away and take a new direction and let that go. It's not meant for you anymore. And this is quite a profound shift that's happening here, Sagittarius, deep down, because it's, um, and, and that's why I feel like it's quite a deep energy coming through for you, because it is like a huge internal transformation. You are transforming into this beautiful uh, into this beautiful being. That's what I want to say with the star energy coming through. Not that you're not beautiful now, but I do feel like there's this great sense of now allowing yourself to shine. So, yeah, it's actually um, really beautiful. So let's look at the two of swords. You know, this is where your mind can step out of the way and you're starting to a situation has forced you to use your intuition because you can't necessarily see what's coming. And if that's how you're feeling, feeling like you couldn't see um, or sent, you couldn't see something clearly or you felt stuck, this is because actually um, the universe wanted you to 
step into a more intuitive state. So this can be frustrating energy. This can be indecision, doubt, uh, not being able to um, make a choice. So, yeah, I do feel like if there is frustration around this, the sense that suddenly you can't see, um, it's because the universe wanted you to be in that place because so that you can kind of go into those deep recesses and see, use your internal light to kind of navigate through that area and become very intuitive and sense. It's very sensory and feeling. It's just a very strong feeling that you're getting loud and clear now that you need to let something go. And that's why I love that this Queen of Pentacles has come in in the near future because she is the one that helps you become unstuck. She's the one that looks after you. There's this sense of nurturing, being protected, uh, self-nourishment as well, looking after your body, making some really good decisions. It's a very grounded energy and you feel very safe and protected within this energy. And so by letting something go, you've stepped into this um, beautiful, it, it feels like a connection to your body, a really strong connection to your body as well, really grounded energy. So yeah, I love the fact that she's come in for you, this Queen of Pentacles, because it now feels, yeah, just so much better. We have, you are presenting as the death card. So this is you. Um, you know, the death card is the card of transformation, big change. You are changing and transforming in a huge way. It's also the card of Scorpio and we're just moving and actually transitioning from Scorpio to, Scorpio to Sagittarius. And so this is kind of, you know, we often find in Scorpio season a lot of transformation, deep transformational change. And that's what I feel like, you know, this is still what this is what's happening and this is this you're still in that cycle and you're presenting as that be the change <laughs> be the change you want to see and that is actually what you're doing so we have the queen the energy around you we have the queen of swords so this is um very much the path has been cleared there's a clear level head uh it seems kind of there's, again, very direct communication coming through. Uh, your mind is in a good place. There's someone that's actually very intelligent around you as well that could be helping you if it's not you. you this could be you as well. I just feel like it's very clear, like there's no static. It's a clear headspace to be in at this moment in time, which is good because we need that clarity in order to get these very deep um, intuitive messages that are coming through for you here. Now we have the Ace of Swords as the hopes and fears and this is really wanting clarity and wanting truth and wanting to get to the bottom of something and that's what I feel like you are actually doing here, Sagittarius. You're clearing the way and finding that, finding out that truth but it, it feels like it's also, you know, it can be external truths but it's also a deep personal truth that's coming through here as well and, you know, it, it actually is very empowering walking away or letting go of an attachment to something that isn't fulfilling you. And we have as the outcome the star card. So this is, again, there's this beautiful love and nourishment and fulfillment coming through for you here, Saji. But we do have, you know, the star card is wishes coming true. It's being divinely guided to a place where you are now in a space that your wishes can come true. And you've got the fairy godmother who grants wishes, grants, does that. So this there's this magical quality around. I uh, want to put them two together. Make a wish. Absolutely make a wish. This is the time because your wish, there's people around that, there's energies around that want to grant your wish, want to give you your wish. So being in the right space, asking for it, 
your wish just might be granted here with these two beautiful cards coming in. It's so um <laughs> it's so magical and special, Sagittarius. And interestingly as well, the Six of Pentacles is all about gifts, gifts of money coming through as well. Opening opening to receive. Um, opening to, I do feel like this whole reading is not so much this can be giving and receiving, but I feel like this is opening to receive, replenishing yourself, receiving that deep intuitive message, opening to magic and wishes coming true. And, you know, things are going to start balancing out for you. There is this, um, yeah, there's this unpredictable, um, spontaneous, unexpected energy to this. So, yeah, you might win things or people might give you stuff, or um, but the message is you need to be open to that. You need to be open to receive it. So here we have Little Froggy, and when it rains, it pours on Little Froggy. So it's like everything that frog needs, it needs the water to feel nourished and water can symbolize anything. It often symbolizes emotions and love, but in this case, what I'm intuitively getting for you guys, Sagittarius, is it's just like this deluge of things that you might be wanting and needing in your life. So it's um just it's going to rain upon you, but not in a bad way, in a really, really positive way. So, yeah, it's um just these beautiful blessings coming through for you, Sagittarius. It's just lovely. So there's gifts. There's gifts of money, money coming as well. You're transforming. Um, beautiful, um, lovely spirits looking over you, protecting you, helping you sort some stuff out. And, yeah, it's just a really, really uh, wonderful reading for you, Sagittarius. I'm going to take this into the deeper read now and we're going to have a look at this, the future beyond this. We're going to pull out some more cards and get some clarifiers and maybe another lucky charm and, yeah, get some birthday messages for you from the fairies. So I'd love it if you come over there with me, Sagittarius. The link is in the description box below. Just click on it and it will take you over to Vimeo and then click on Sagittarius. And if you enjoyed this, Saggy, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. And happy birthday. Enjoy this lovely, uh, you know, shower of gifts and happiness that's coming down here for you. It's so beautiful. So be open to receive. Don't be. And most of all, make a wish because it might just come true. Good. So take care, Sagittarius. I'll see you next time.